Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a new microphone from Comica. Alright, before we get too far in the video, I just want to remind everyone, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel as a whole and want to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification, that way you get alerts whenever I put a new video out. This is the Comica HRMS interview microphone, and it's designed to plug right into your smartphone like I have it doing right now for this video. All the audio in this video is going to be completely raw. I'm not going to clean it up in any way, shape, or form other than maybe giving it an audio boost if I need to in post-processing. Everything that you're hearing right now is going through my phone. Uh, whenever I switch this to a different device, I will let you know on screen. Now, as you can see, this thing has a pretty good size handle on it. It is full metal construction. It's got a gold plated capsule on the inside. It's got a frequency response of 60 Hertz to 20 kilohertz. The sensitivity on this microphone is minus 35 decibels. The signal to noise ratio is 75 decibels and the dynamic range is 81 decibels. Now this microphone doesn't require any extra power. It connects with a standard TRRS 3.5 jack into any type of smartphone. If you want to plug this into a camera or anything like that, you would need a TRRS to TRS adapter, which I can link down in the uh, description below. The polar pattern for this microphone is cardioid, so it's pretty much only gonna pick up stuff that's coming from the front side of the microphone, and it's gonna try to cut out more stuff coming from the back side. As you can see here, as I move it away, you're not gonna hear my voice nearly as much as when I pull it back. Same thing as if we start moving this thing all around, you're gonna hear the voice cut out when it's moving away from whoever you're pointing it at. You're gonna hear it pick back up when you point it back to whoever you're pointing it at. Now I'm gonna run this audio through a few different things. Like I said, right now it's running directly into my phone, so that's the audio you're hearing. I'm also going to do a test with it plugged directly into my camera uh, using a TRS adapter. I'm also going to plug it into a wireless system. That way you can make this thing completely wireless and a little bit more mobile. Same thing with that, you will need the TRS adapter. All right, now I've plugged the microphone directly into my camera. Uh, this is the Canon N50. Test one, two, three, four, five. 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 This is what the audio sounds like when you're moving around the microphone when it's plugged into the camera. This is what the audio sounds like when you're moving the microphone around when it's plugged into the camera. And then back on me. All right, I'm now testing the microphone plugged into a completely wireless system. Uh, as you can see, I've just got the cable in my hand. That way I can freely move around with it if I want to. Now, if you already have the Comica wireless system for their smartphone lavalier recording, you can plug this microphone directly into the same transmitter that you would normally plug your lavalier microphone and just use this instead. That way you can keep it right on your person and talk. What I'm using currently is the Rode Wireless Go. It's what I have accessible to me, but it essentially does the same thing. Again, like I said earlier in the video, you will need the TRRS to TRS cable in order to make this function. Testing the microphone on a wireless connection. Test one, two, three, four, five. Test one, two, three, four, five. Moving the microphone away from me. Testing on a wireless connection. Moving it back. Testing on a wireless connection. Moving the microphone around. That way you can hear the cardioid pattern. You hear when the microphone's picking up and then going to move it back to my mouth. Now that's connected wirelessly through your DSLR camera. So if you're doing an interview or anything like that, the wireless option does give you the most freedom because you can essentially hang the cable down on your waist. Then as you're walking around doing interviews, you can get there quickly, pretty much have your microphone ready when you want to without having a wire draped everywhere. All right, now this final test is gonna be done outside. This is the microphone plugged directly into my iPhone 11. I'm using the stock camera app. Um, I've got a lot of background noise going on as far as birds, nature, planes flying over, things like that. And I want it to do this in the most realistic scenario possible. This is what Comica designed this microphone for, plugging directly into your phone, doing interviews on the go. And I figure a lot of them are gonna be done outside. Uh, you're gonna have events, venues, things like that. So this is probably one of the more important sound tests. That way you get an idea of what this is going to sound like in a realistic outdoor environment, plugged directly into your phone. Now I'm going to stop talking just for a moment, that way you can hear the background noise and how much it picks up.
All right, and that was the outdoor test using my iPhone 11. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like the microphone, the link's going to be down in the description below, as always. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to post them down in the comments section below. I answer pretty much everything that gets asked or reply to every comment posted. If there's anything you'd like to see in future videos, please feel free to let me know also down in the comments section below. Until next time, guys. Thank <laughs> you.